Chuck, I guess the answer's probably weird. Oh, it gets weirder. I found him paying some really rough dudes to, to fight him. He wasn't forthcoming with the details, but I, I would imagine it's some new Bass-type scheme to get Blair's attention. Well, he said he was okay about her all summer. Or maybe he's finally hitting him now that we're back. I think something else might have hit him, too. He was already pretty bruised when I got there. I think he might need to see a doctor. Yeah, well... My mom has this concierge doc she could send, but calling her means I'd have to decide which internship I want. Well, I, I could stick around and talk it through with you. I was also kind of hoping to get some help from Chuck on something anyway. Hey, I'm going to call the doctor, have him check out your bruises, okay? Excellent. Listen, I'll just uh, call you when the doctor leaves. How about that? All right. You said to a little shopping for all your pre-wedding events. Yes, I was thinking woo for my welcome parade. Short, but regal. And Alaya would put Charlene and her swimmer's body to shame at Albert's Ball. Hmm, those we never do. Why? They only use children to sew the beating. You cannot have bare shoulders, exposed knees, anything foam-fitting. Too much skin borders on Bernie. I, I don't understand. How am I to become an icon of style? taste if I can only wear a burka. I'm sorry. The dress code is mandated. So you get Balmain and I get to be Barbara Bush. How is this possible? It's one of the many perks of being the non-reigning sibling. I'm surprised to hear you say that. I read the interview you did for The Guardian when Louis gave up his seat for me and you seemed more than eager to step into that role. I admit, I've always wished for my mother to realize she had two capable children. For those few days, with the world watching my every move were too much. You, however, are much better suited for the pressures of royal service than I. Shall we have a snack? Oh, actually, I need to find a restroom. XOXO Gossip. 